Hey guys, name's Finn, playing some Black and Whiteville again. Last time I finished a dungeon, apparently dungeons are this game's weak spot. So let's go on to the strong points by venturing pretty much anywhere from here. Got to look out for these ghostly shadows and read some amusing weird ta- hey. Okay, I just thought they might be friendly as all. You know, they're inside a house instead of on the street. Oh shit, I killed another person. That's not good. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter because I'm not a good guy. On his fifth visit, Mer Ying grew frustrated at the lack of parking lots. This parking lot reflects Ying's frustration of the lack of parking lots. Ying would occasionally park in this parking lot on subsequent visits and murder people. I better just stop with my button pressing. Which I didn't do, but I can probably jump. Unless they're Goombas, then I'm jumping on them would would kill them. But I don't seem to be able to get anywhere from here. But that's okay. Anyways, yes. Uh, because shut up about people. Oh, is there something going on outside? A festival? A parade? No, nah, kind of a psychopathic murder fest. But it's the same thing in some people's eyes. And uh, as long as one guy says something, well, we can pretty much call it even for everybody. This is just like a big square. I guess these screens are exit points. But there's a lot of them, so I actually don't know about that. What? Oh, it's you. You look familiar. I can't move until you keep killing more of these townsfolk, remember? What? Come back in a bit? God damn it. I just... That is completely unfair that they move. This game is completely unfair. Well, it's complete anyway. That much can be said. This guy's following me. I remember the long sentences I used to write. Ha! Fragmented. <laughs> okay. My on-screen visual indicators are not functioning very well right now. In fact, one might question if they're even doing anything at all. Um, that... that That's not a good thing to be wondering. Ooh, it's a maze of death. My house has a lot of windows. I don't like windows. It's as if someone is always looking in. And you know there has to be something going on outside there. It can't just be that silent all the time. So silent and calm is disturbing to me. Well, I don't care about what things are to you. You're dumb and stupid because you don't share my opinion. This gate needs 16 cards. Can I open it? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Maybe going into some other area with not quite enough to do. Oh, well, it looks like I'm pretty much done. I guess this town is not as big as I thought. Whoa. There's a fairy, and I can't press the start key. What? What, what is the point of this? I'm supposed to see this screen? Oh, I get it. I go behind the houses. Okay. la di da di da di da di da di da Hello there, fairy. I... Oh, you have to escape this ghost in order to partake of the juicy delights? Wow, that sure was difficult. Come on. Yeah, that's not really a challenge. You just kind of hug the bushes, and they hug you back. Boom. Wrong sound effect, but the result was good. So only three more left, so I guess I'm kind of getting close to only having two more left. And at that point, well, I'll just be able to stand up on a flagpole and set records all day. Apparently that, that ladder blockhead by rocks is something that happens later in the game. So I guess I'll get there when I get there, but now I guess I'll just go to every other area I can find and try to find a map. I do recall that uh, I think in one of the other dungeons, or maybe all of them, there is one of those statues that you can move. It's going to be red, and I just gotta find... Oh, is this it? Yeah, close, but not quite. Ah, here we are. Oh, but I moved the statue in this one already. Or did I? Oh, what? That's some great music. <laughs> okay, well, we're in Super 8-Bit land. It all seems a bit forced at this point, but... Oh, well, surreal, right? The seeing one knows all and will lead one to enlightenment. The road to enlightenment is unlit by any torches. Okay, well, there's two torches here lighting the entire room because 8-bit, you know what I'm saying. These spikes look like I can't pass them at all, except I guess I could. But I don't want to, because who enjoys pain, except if you're freaking proud of it? I mean, uh, I wouldn't be, but then again, I live in my parents' basement. Well, not exactly. I live on my mother's farm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my life is dumb. That's why I'm on YouTube, so that I can get huge and get totally tortured by toxic comments all the time and regret my decision. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I kinda like it. Uh, there's no gameplay here. Once again, it's just like, hey, dead guys, spikes, black squares, huge enormous bosses that go through walls or something. What happens if you just let him walk around? 
Yeah. Does he just keep speeding up? Does something crazy happen? He just kind of, oh, he just kind of bounces or something? Well, that's interesting, but it doesn't get me a million dollars, nor a beat up old rusty Honda Accord. Ah, well, <laughs> okay, better open up them gates. I want to just see how many gates I have left to open. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's that thing over there. Yo, every time I rap, I can't help but reference. Do not stray from the way of the seeing one, not even for the treasure lying at the far corners of the maze. Do not stray from the way of the seeing one. <laughs> what does that mean? This whole place is bright and full of dead people. Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? Are you the seeing one? No, you're the bouncing one. This is just in this is this a dungeon? This isn't a dungeon. This but it's still unnecessarily big. I just don't get this man. Like I don't get what uh Tycho says on Penny Arcade, especially when he's trying to be serious and say something real life, but he uses the exact same style of talk as when he's being jokey. Uh I'm trying to hit this switch, but it is ingeniously placed so that that such may never be done, except it, it can. Why would I be trying to block up the waterfall? And why would there be a switch there when there's just one here? I don't freaking know, man. Ah, uh, it ain't happening. I want to finish the game. I do want to finish the game, but I do like pink, especially when it's buttons and it lights up. Oh, wait a minute. Am I supposed to just go like this? Like, am I supposed to jump like a freaking race car? Yeah, I jump like a freaking race car and press a button that I'm not quite sure what it even... Oh, oh, I see. So, could I possibly... Oh, I can. Clever. I'm not sure I'm intended to do that, but of course I am. Oh, I see. I'm just gonna catch it before it gets away. No! Oh. Um, uh, honestly, tank the hits. At this point, you can do that, so why not do it? Except if they're dumb hits like that. But I'm kind of a dumb guy playing this game. I'm not nearly intellectual enough. And I like surreality. Oh my god. And I just saved. What is wrong with me? Um... I like the music, I just realized. I'm a bit of a slow, uh, clock ticker. Whoa, uh, my health got totally restored at some point. I'm not sure where. Uh, I guess I won't complain. Yeah, I guess I won't complain. This definitely plays like a dungeon, you know? I suppose it may be, but I haven't quite realized I've... Well, it was at the end of that second dungeon, so maybe it's still... acting like one. What is going on here? Whatever. That acrobat is losing balance. Where is the safety net? What? There's an acrobat who's losing balance? Why? This is the dumbest thing. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell does this game even mean? I have it on some authority that it means something, but I have my serious doubts. It's probably gonna be something. Well, man, you see, the acrobat represents my childhood when I was told to put my toys away and, oh, it's real, real, real intellectual. <laughs> There's something nonsensical. So, do I just bash the guy down or what? He's sitting on a flagpole and getting the world record. Um, I'm not... <clears throat> <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to say is my theory and I'm not sure what the hell I'm supposed to do. I mean, there's a speck of dust here. Maybe I can put the speck of dust on top of him so that he falls or something, or I can place it down there. Oh, because it cushions him. <laughs> Neat puzzle, but totally irrelevant to the area. Like, why is there an act? <laughs> it's just so random. It doesn't fit the surroundings. I guess that's why it's surreal. July 21st, 1957. Following a cage malfunction, my face and side are severely mauled by an untamed lion. I survive, but now shudder to look at my own reflection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I guess just roll. It is a nonsensical floor ceiling aptitude monkey. Well, looks like this is a big old dead end because I have no way to run. So, uh, yeah, it does not even count as having an exit. Why? I don't know, but I got a key, which I just remember there's a door, like way back somewhere. How the hell do I flip these back so I can get back? God damn it. You cannot jump in place like that. Stop it! I was even told the collision, the bad collision is intentional or something? Why would that? 
<laughs> I can't wait for this game to end so I can not ever understand what's going on, but pretend to. Ah, here we are. Okay, uh, well, those slimes are shooting stuff that may be normal and I'm just forgetting, or something. I don't know, you can skip a lot of stuff by tanking in this game. It's kind of like clumsy sloppy looking, but uh, I don't know, man, it's weird. A lion. Well, he's gonna scar my face because, oh, because, oh, because bosses are hard, man, and now I'm way back here. I'm just, I'm probably not supposed to do that, but this game is like so, so, so loose with its, uh, with its physics and stuff to put it uh, charitably. And I didn't realize you could jump on these things and have them still follow you before. Follow me. Wait. Okay, so, God damn it! I can't be getting hurt a bunch of times here. But yet still, I must kill the enemy who doesn't even need to be killed, and yeah. Okay, so, he shoots a bunch of fire and kind of never stops, or sometimes stops. So, we just gotta kind of wait. He's a waiting boss. You just kind of hit him until you don't. Oh, no. What? Okay, that line seems rather suspect. There's an elephant head here. I don't know why. I guess this is the jungle. The Amazon jungle. Is this... This is just leading me back here. Yeah, senseless. I am just curious about this game. I'm sorry. Like, I know it seems like I don't like it and I'm just annoyed and I kind of am annoyed. I'm just like, what is this? But seriously, I want to know what happens. Even if it's not explained at all, which at this point it probably won't be, but... Oh, God damn it. But I kind of want a checkpoint now because I'm kind of clueless. Okay, here we go. I've completed an obstacle news flash. I am the town crier. I've completed an obstacle. Everyone listen to me. That's what town criers do, right? Oh, what back here? What the shit? That lion's back and give me a checkpoint. This must be because the challenge ramps up and stuff. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go to the other side. This is just stupid. Like I've finished one of these dang things. Can't I just, can I just go here? Yes. Thank you. It's more of the same. Amazing. Can I have a checkpoint, please? I am disgusted by this diner's service. They have given me precisely what I asked for and not a billion times more than what I asked for. I will not tip them 15, 20, 30, or even 100%. Because those tip things in restaurants, in the automated tip machine things, you can never tell how to tip because it's extremely difficult to tell and it seems designed to make you look like a douche for not tipping when really you just couldn't find the correct button. Oh, hey, I'm playing a game. You know what I want to try this direction is there appears to be something potentially new over here or some way or other, including some stairs down to the circus wall. Let's play blood. Yeah, let's play blood. You know what I'm saying? Blood is very, very fun to play, but not to play with. Because that's just going too far, man. There we are, I've jumped the pit. I am evil Neville. I refuse to pronounce a K wrongly. I'm sorry, but I'm just a gentle man who walks and treads upon somebody's roof with his Denver boot. That is another kind of thing that's incomprehensible, but it's it's good music, so cool with it. This is also pretty good. But, ah, checkpoint! And then there's some love frogs over there, but this seems to be a more one-way path, so I guess I'll just jump the spikes. Forgotten I can jump over the spikes. You may notice at the beginning of this video, I was like, oh, there's some spikes. I guess I can't go over those, but I can. So yeah, oh hey. These flowers are not flowers of love. They're not love lotuses. They're just kind of pollen lotuses. And pollen, well, our character here is allergic to pollen. We gotta have diverse people in gaming today. And being allergic to pollen is, pollen is just the next step after uh, LGBT and uh, women who don't dress in bikinis to war. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's progress, people. And it's not one way anymore. But hey, I'll just follow the one way path because, you know, uh, Stanley Parable is my god. It's a pretty funny game thing, anyway. Go check out my LP of it if you want to. But nobody's watching this anyway, so... Hey, damn. Well, I guess this is circus-themed now. July 17th, 1957. Seven clowns retire with near-fatal lung issues. Land Blend brand makeup is suspect, but no formal investigation occurs. 
I don't know, man. Why can't I? Oh. That, this just seems stupid. Like, that's not, that's not a serious thing. Clowns, makeup that kills them. That's not, like, okay, seriously. What, what am I even looking for? My mom always told me if you do that arch long enough, your spine will stay that way. She's right. Moms are always right, especially about things which they know nothing of. Hey, I'm almost dead. But fortunately, I just... <laughs> gate. But fortunately, I just get put back at the last checkpoint with no sort of consequence. I guess. Wait a minute. I've been in this room over... Oh, I'm going down. Fine. How, uh... Oh, I... Well, there's my ticket back. It's, it's a weird one-way sort of thing. Okay, well... That uh, it's that rat. No. No. Ah. Okay, you gotta wait and get hit all the time. There we go. June twenty fourth, nineteen fifty seven. Trappy swing breaks. Chevy releases new car. Alice Rutgers is flung into the ground, resulting in two fractured shins. Okay, so is this guy part of a circus family, like in Psychonauts? Or is he just mad? Ugh. What? Oops. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, shit! Wait. Oh my god, there's so many freaking paths! But I hate paths, so I'm gonna leave it here. Um... Yeah. Check me out next time for when I play something that, uh, I understand. See you guys next time. Bye for now.